What's good everybody? Welcome to Beer Biceps again. Now recently I released a couple of videos on the ketogenic diet and to be honest I feel that before watching today's full day of eating video you should go and check out those videos. It'll help you decide whether or not the ketogenic diet is meant for you. But first before we start on the diet plan I just want to make it clear that this isn't the fixed diet that you're going to follow. Throughout the ketogenic diet every subsequent week you've got to keep reducing your calories. Initially while following the ketogenic diet you can actually afford to have super greasy food as long as your overall carbs for the day are below 20 grams but eventually you need to kind of reduce your fat intake just to make sure you're under your maintenance calories so the diet i'm going to be showing in today's video is more about towards the end of keto you know when your calories are super low so you can definitely afford to have a little oily food but your food can't be extra greasy so let's go Okay guys, so meal number 1 is a basic protein shake and water. Now I'm Punjabi and Punjabis love their milk. Generally, if I'm not following a ketogenic diet, I always have my protein shake with milk in the morning. And to be honest, you can afford to have a little bit of dairy on the ketogenic diet, but we are aiming to keep it ideal. And that's why I'll be having my protein shake with just a little bit of water. Now in this case I'm having an isolate protein supplement with water. Isolates are low on carbs, they're low on calories and they get absorbed a little bit faster than whey protein concentrates, but the downside is that they're a little bit expensive. Now you can absolutely have a whey protein concentrate while on keto, but if you want to take it to the next level, if you want to be just super sure about your keto, I'd recommend going for an isolate protein shake. So a delicious isolate protein supplement and a bit of water is my go-to breakfast while following the ketogenic diet. Okay guys so meal number 2 is a basic tawa fried chicken. I've just cut up a chicken breast lengthwise and fried it on a super hot cast iron skillet with a little bit of oil and obviously after marinating it in a bunch of spices. Every single recipe I'm talking about in today's video I've already covered it on the channel. So if you want to know how to make these make sure you check out my keto recipes playlist. Now from my own experience I've seen that anyone who's following a ketogenic diet their appetites always drop. You can't eat that much food. So whereas in my other full day of eating videos you'll see me eating a lot of meals, it's not possible to do that while following ketosis. So today's meal is super simple. It's just 100 or 150 grams of chicken breast and that's a pretty filling lunch for someone who's on a ketogenic diet and what makes it even better, Indian cooking just takes food to the next level. Mm mm mm. Okay guys, now I've got about an hour to go before my keto fueled workout and this is where I like having my next meal. Now traditionally I always recommend having a lot of carbs just to fuel your workout but unfortunately we're on keto and that's why during keto I prefer having just a very simple four egg omelet cooked in just a little bit of oil. Now you got to remember that from the omelet you're also getting a lot of fat through the egg yolks. So you don't want to overdo it with the oil otherwise you won't stay below your maintenance calories and burn off fat. Now if you're one of those people who likes having a lot of carbs before the workout, getting used to the keto lifestyle might be a little difficult but eventually you realize that you just need to keep your stomach full before going into your workout that's all. And to keep my stomach full I feel that the best option is this delicious and super simple four egg omelet. Oh yeah. Okay guys so I just got done with a super intense keto fueled workout and as always your best friend after workout is a protein shake and some water Okay guys so the next meal is the most important part of the ketogenic diet according to me. Now remember keto diet is all about having only 20 grams of carbs a day. Now what you fill those 20 grams with matters a lot. Now ideally instead of filling it with something like cheese or some dairy, try filling it with green leafy veggies like this. Now here I've just taken a little bit of lettuce, a bit of cabbage and a bit of spinach and I've just stir fried it with a little bit of garlic and curry leaves. Keep in mind that I'm counting my carbs from these veggies and I'm counting my carbs from those pods of garlic. That's how serious you need to be in the ketogenic diet. Now if you don't have this, you will get a lot of deficiencies and you'll get horribly constipated. That's why this part of the ketogenic diet is super important. Now as bad as this tastes from a health perspective, it's a necessity. Don't skip it. Okay guys, now that we're done with the veggies, it's time for the good stuff. Dinner for me during ketosis is always seafood. Okay, now this isn't just a keto related concept, but for your life, if you're following a high protein diet, keep changing up your protein sources. Different protein sources give you different benefits, and seafood actually helps a lot with muscle recovery. Especially during keto, make sure you have some form of seafood. 
So in my case, it's this super awesome baby pomfret grilled in an Italian style and topped with a little extra virgin olive oil goodness. Oh yeah! Okay guys, and final meal of the day, these gorgeous lamb seek kebabs. Now keep in mind that this is completely optional. You don't have to have this. I'm just one of those people who feel super hungry at night and I have to fill my stomach before sleeping. And as I said previously, keep changing up your protein sources. So in this case, I'm using red meat. Now ideally, you shouldn't be having red meat every day, but again, we're on a ketogenic diet and we can afford all that extra fat. And that's why these lamb seek kebabs are the most perfect late night dinner. Hey guys, so that was the video for today. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now you gotta keep in mind that a keto diet will only work if you do it for a minimum of 30 days. And psychologically, you need to be really strong to execute a keto diet well. Now honestly, I feel that a keto diet isn't for everyone, especially if you're one of those people who really has an affinity towards carbohydrates. An easier and a more practical option is the BB Summer Diet Plan that I put up on my channel a while back. So if your only fitness goal is to lose weight, make sure you check it out. I think it'll help you a lot and it's completely free of cost. Either way, if you want to follow my personal fitness journey, these are my handles and that's my Facebook page. So make sure you give me a follow on those handles and make sure you like my Facebook page. Either way guys, until next time, from Beer Biceps, see ya!